You come right here, brother. Matter of fact, what's your name, bro? Jenkins, Michael Jenkins. Michael Jenkins? I'm calling you Michael. My name is Jaina, all right? Yeah, Jaina. So, what we're going over, we're showing who we truly are according to the Bible, all right? Let me ask you, what is your nationality? Black. Black, Black right? Yes, now, you, now, you gave me two different answers now. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, as, 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 as it may say, they say African American. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. As they say, right? Yes, but. Think about it. You gave me two different nationalities, right? You say black, African American. Now, don't you think it's something wrong? Because the guess what? You might say black, and another bunch of our people might say African American. But we're the same people. But why do we got two different answers for nationality? Something should be thinking. Something should be moving in your head, like mm, something's wrong, right? No. But let me show you something. Get uh, back to Deuteronomy. Back to Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Listen good. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. So, guess what? Our people are, can you find African American in the Bible? You can't, right? But guess what? Our people are in the Bible, but God don't call us African American or black. Bring it out. Let me show you what he called us, right? And I'm gonna show you what he called us through, based off what we went through. Listen to what I'm saying, read that. But it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. And thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So do you know the story about Moses bringing the Israelites out of Egypt, right? So this right after they came out of Egypt. So Moses said, it shall come to pass. What do I mean by it shall come to pass? It's going to come to come to Right, it's going to happen, right? In the future, right? Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. Go ahead. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. So Moses told the Israelites right during this time, this is thousands of years ago, it's going to happen in the future if you don't listen to God's law, statutes, and commandments. You follow me? Go ahead. That all these curses, all these what? All these curses, all these what? All these curses Go ahead. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, is curses a good thing, Michael, or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So Moses said in the future, these bad things are going to happen to you, children of Israel for breaking God's commandments. Right. Hit verse 68. Verse 68. Now, let me ask you, Michael, how did our people got to this side of the world from the west coast of Africa? Okay, the Europeans brought us over here. How? They did have brought us in a car? No, they brought us over on a slave ship. On a slave ship, right? Right. Let me ask Get you, out. do you think that exact history, what happened to us in 1492, 1619, do you think those slave ships is recorded in the Bible exactly? No. no? Let me show you something, Michael. This is something we never been taught. We never been taught the Bible ever. Bring it out. Ever since like, we haven't been taught the Bible correctly. Bring let it me out. show you something. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God says he's gonna break. Now they just came out of Egypt, right? God says he's gonna bring them back into Egypt again. But did they ever go back into Egypt after they came out? No, they never went. So what the world is God talking about? Listen good, bro, with the hood. Listen good. This is your rich history we're going over. Get Exodus 20. Listen good. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. Read out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So, brother, let me ask you right here. Uh, what's your nationality? Uh, my nationality? Yeah. Your race. Um, African American. African American? Okay, good. Now you see how you say black? You say African American, and then I said that was gonna happen. You see that? Watch this. Exodus 22. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Get out. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So God says he brought the children of Israel. Listen good. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon? Listen good, Brandon. God said he brought the children of Israel, his chosen people, out of Egypt. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means bondage. When you consider this as bondage, that happened to our people? All, all the atrocities that happened to us, selling us, all that, right? That's bondage, right? So that's what the Israelites was doing in Egypt, right? So go back to Deuteronomy 28. We're going to show you, Brennan, who you truly are according to the Bible. You're not African-American. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. We're going to put some pieces together, Michael Reed. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God is going to bring the Israelites into bondage again. That condition of bondage again, but how this time? Let's see what Michael says in the Bible. Read. Yeah, we are chosen people. With ships. With what? With ships. Yes, Michael, we are the chosen people. That's right. We are God's people. Remember, 
African American not in the Bible. Right. Black not in the Bible. No. But we just read that God's chosen people. That's the thing with the Europeans put up on. Right. God's chosen people were gonna go into bondage on ships. That only happened to us, right? That's right. We're bro. reading that out the Bible. We're reading that out the Bible. Read on. Watch this. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Now, let me ask y'all, what do y'all think our homeland is? What do you say, Africa? Say Africa, what'd you say? Africa. Africa, right? Guess what? That's that's correct. But what part of Africa? Watch this. That's the question, right? Now you you just learned just that, that little verse right there that we're the chosen people, right? With the Israelites according to the Bible. That's, that's right. right. Huh? This is what I've been taught. Right. That's what we've been taught. But now we learning that we're the Israelites according to the Bible, right? So as the Israelites, yes, our homeland is Africa, but what part though? If we're Israelites, what part is our in Africa? Get out. You say Ethiopia. South Africa. You say. Okay, what, what you think, man? Uh, no idea. No idea? We're gonna get you. We're gonna, we got you. Galatians 4. Right, watch this. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Listen to it. But Jerusalem. But what? Jerusalem. Free. Which is above is free. But Jerusalem, which is above is free. Well, hold on. Where is Jerusalem? What where y'all say Jerusalem is? It's a part of Africa. You say what? I said I mean it's, a, it's it's on that side of it. The, the, the map, I can't say exactly Okay, okay, what you, what you think Jerusalem is? Or Israel today? No idea. No idea? That's alright, that's alright. So, you read that again. I got y'all. But Jerusalem! But Jerusalem, which is in Israel, which is the northeast part of Africa, the top right part of Africa. Guess what? They don't show it on your maps and stuff. Jerusalem, that's to deceive our people, thinking that Israel is in the Middle East, but it's actually a part of Africa. Right, right? Get out. Which is above is free. free. Which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is our homeland. Right. Our right. motherland. Right? Because we're Israelites. We come from Israel. Right. Not the people that's over there now. I'm going to show you something about that too, but read this verse. 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Get out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So God is going to bring us into bondage again with ships. But he called us Israel. Go ahead. By the way, where I spake unto thee. By the way, I'm saying this to you. That's exactly how it's going to happen. And then we go into slavery on ships. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see Jerusalem no more again. When, when have y'all been to Jerusalem? Not ever, right? So this prophecy is real. Bring it out. And there, and there, once you get off the slave ships in uh, uh, Charleston, South Carolina, wherever we was docked at, what's going to happen to us? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Hold on, read that right. And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Y'all hear what the Bible says? God says we're going to go on slavery on slave ships. Well, the Israelites are going to go on slavery on slave ships. They were going to be sold. Read. For bond men uh -huh. and bond women. Slave men and slave women, read. And no man shall buy you. Nobody's going to be able to get us out that condition of being put on the slave ships and being sold. Right. This is our history we're reading, right? Right, right. Y'all right. understand this. So, this proving that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Brother right here, what's your name? Boston. Boston? Yeah. My name is Yahana. How you doing? I'm what? a nigga Islam fair car man. Okay, okay. I respect y'all what y'all doing. I believe y'all. Right, so you know that we Israelites, right? Yes, sir. Okay, all praises, all praises. Yes, sir. Yes, Watch sir. this. Um, get verse 48. Verse 48. Now let's show you some more history. Watch this. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So God says we're going to have to serve our enemies. Once we got on the slave ships, and once we got over here in America, we were sold, right? And what we had to do? We had to start serving our enemies, right? So our enemies are the people that sold us on those sh sold us once we got over here, right? right. And who is that? Okay. Europeans, right? That's what the Bible says. Right. Read. In hunger. So we're gonna have to serve them for food. Read. And in thirst. For water. And in nakedness. And in clothing. All the clothes on our back, the food, the water that we gotta go to the stores to get. We're going to have to serve them to earn the money just to give it back to them to get the food and the drinks. Right. You understand? Read. 
and in want of all things. And anything we want, you want a driver's license, you want to travel out the country, you got to get permission from them, right? You got to get everything from them, read. And he, and the same enemy, read, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Shall do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Shall do what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What are we reading? The Bible. That's right. This is our history in the Bible. God says, for our disobedience to him as his chosen people, God is going to bring us into slavery on slave ships. We're going to be sold. And then after we be sold, we're going to be put serving our enemies with yokes of iron on our necks. Right. Yeah. Did this happen to the so-called Jewish man over there in Israel? Yep. No. So is he really God's people? Bring it out. According to what we read it, is he really God's people? No, he's not. He's not. We are God's people. Right. We are God's chosen people. Y'all listening? Watch this. Get uh, Read on, read on. Until he have destroyed thee. And God says the, the yokes of iron are going to be on our neck until we was destroyed. Right. Now we think, now we don't know our nationality no more. Get that in Isaiah. About our name shall be, we leave our name for a curse. Now we no longer know that we're God's people, the Israelites. Now we think we African American, right. black, Jamaican, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Native American. No, we're not that. We're better than that. That's we right. are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Read that. Isaiah chapter 65. Verse 15. Listen, listen good what God says about his chosen people name. Read. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. God says his people, the Israelites, are going to leave their name for a curse. What's the curse now? The curse is you're no longer being called Israel. You're being called black, coon, negro, porch monkey, Bring it out. Hispanic, native. That's what you're being called now. That's a curse. Read. Unto my chosen. Unto your chosen. Go ahead. For the Lord God shall slay thee. So God slay us in slavery for his for our disobedience to him. Right. That as his chosen people, y'all gotta understand. As as the greatest people on the earth, there's a punishment for you breaking God's commandments. It can't be a pat on the hand. All right. God gave us everything. So right. our punishment is slavery. Bring it out. That's it and call his servants by another name. You're no longer being called Israel no more. Right. You're being, you're being called everything outside of what God called us. Bring it and out. Whenever you fill out a job application, they have African-American, Hispanic, Native, all that, right? And then the thing is, I don't know if people notice, but they, they don't put other as an option no more on a job application. You know. Right? We, we're not supposed to be subscribing to none of that. Jeez. But in this captivity, in order to get the job, we got to subscribe to which one. Right. Now go back. Deuteronomy 28 and let's get verse 32. Another Check it one. out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. So Brandon, you understand what we're reading, right? Good. All praise you. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. So, Brandon, you got any kids? Yeah. You do? All right. So God says... Our sons and daughters, right? After we have the yoke shall on our neck. He said, our sons and daughters shall be what? Shall be given unto another people. Didn't that happen to us also in slavery? We had kids, and once they, once the slave master, he wanted to sell that child off to another plantation. Could their parents do anything about it? No, they couldn't. They sold, they sold the mom to this plantation, or they kept right. the mom on this plantation. Sold the father to another plantation. Sold the daughter to another plantation. Right. Sold the son to a whole other plantation and split the family up right. and never see them again. This happened to our people. This is what we read in the Bible. Read. And thine eyes shall look uh -huh. and fail with longing for them right. all the day long. And the only thing we can do is just cry for our kids. Bring it out. And they can do. Read the next part. And there shall be no might in thy hand. And God said there was going to be no might in our hand. We didn't have no economic might. Right. We didn't have no military might to fight right. for our kids back. Jeez. 
This is a curse that happened to our people because we broke God's commandments. Yep. That's right. So this happened to Israel. This makes us the Israelites according to the Bible. You understand, yeah. brother? That's, That's right. right. So you're an Israelite according to the Bible. You shouldn't be calling yourself African American. Woo. That's that you putting yourself below than what you really are. Get out. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Good. So uh so now understand as the Israelites, we went into slavery because we broke God's commandments. Right. Right. Now, and let me ask you, in order for us to get out of this condition, what do you think it takes for us to reverse it? If we broke God's commandments to get in this situation, what do you think we gotta do to get out of it? No idea. No idea? Well, I'm, I'm help y'all. Get uh, Deuteronomy, matter of fact, 28 and 1. I'm gonna show you, then I'm gonna get 10 and 12. Bring it Deuteronomy up. 28 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it right out. now, we're living the curses of Deuteronomy, all right? Watch this. And it shall come to pass. So God says, brother, right here in the, uh, the blue, the blue. God says, it shall come to pass, read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says, if us, as a nation of people, do listen to his law, statutes, and commandments, go ahead. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So if we do keep God's commandments this day as a nation, go ahead. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He will do what? He will set thee on high. God will set us on high. Right now we at the bottom, right? But if we keep God's commandments as a nation, he will begin to bless us and set us on high. That's Read. right. Above all nations no, of the earth. No, we want to be equal to. Above all nations of the earth. God says he's going to set us above all nations of the earth if we repent and keep his commandments. That's right. But it might be hard to see that because our people are wrapped up in darkness. We wrapped up in all kind of foolishness but we're not adhering to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. right. We're going to church on Sunday. It churches on every block. But guess what? You still got black on black on black on black crime right around the corner from the church, right? Right. You still got drugs being pushed out right around the corner of the church, right? Right. Bring it you out. You still got adultery. Oh, a, a husband cheating on his wife and sleeping with another woman, vice versa, in the church. Right. right. And the pastors doing that as well. Also, you got our people, the pastors, taking tithe money, which tithe is not money according to the Bible, taking tithes and they're preaching uh, the laws are done away with. That's a hypocrite, right? You got all that going on that's breaking God's laws. Is that it? Verse one? Yes, sir. All right, get 10 to 12. So understand this, Brandon, as God's chosen people, there's something we gotta do now. Which will, which will get us above all nations, all right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. So, brother right here. So, how you doing, bro? I'm all right, and you yourself? All right? I'm good, I'm good. My name is Yana. What's your name? Well, I'm Freddie. Freddie? All right, Freddie. Uh, let me ask you, what's your nationality? Your race. What's your race? I'm black. Black? Okay. Now, you say, you say African-American, you say black. Now, both of y'all the same people, right? That's right. But right. you both give two different answers. Well, make your mind up. Okay. I'm a black man. I'm a I am a man among men, folk. That's what they've been teaching us in the country, right? No, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Right, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior as well. Okay, I'm with you, brother. All right. I got you, I got you. All right. So, I made it my business right. to stop by. On prison. Just to tell you. Good. I feel you. Good. So let's listen to, to the words of Jesus, right? 42. So watch this. 10 to 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, uh -huh. what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So God says, what do he require of us, right? Now, what we went over with Brandon is that by descent mm -hmm. from their fathers, God, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we are God's people according to the Bible. You understand? Right. All right, so I have watch this. A question. Oh, just one moment, just one moment, I'll get your question, alright? Okay. Right, read that. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, right. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So what we have to do is keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Show love right. to him, right? Let's go explain it, read. To keep the commandments uh -huh. of the Lord, right. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. for thy good. Because everybody teaches... The Christian church teaches against 
God's laws. They say you don't got to keep God's laws no more. But God said you got to keep his laws and it's for your good. Right. Guess what? If we keep God's laws, there'll be no more police brutality. Right. There'll be no more single parent households. Right. No, there'll be no more uh, struggling day by day just to uh, get uh, ends meet. Right. right? That's if we keep God's commandments. That's the only thing we haven't tried yet. All right? So I'm, I'm going to deal with him because he came up first, right? And then I'm going to get you, all right? Okay. Go to back to Deuteronomy 28. Freddie, we're showing our people that we are God's people, all right? right? Now, God, remember, do you know the story about Moses bringing Israel out of Egypt, right? Watch this. This is what Moses said to them. Listen good what they said to them. Go to uh, verse 48 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Go ahead. Now, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So, didn't in slavery, we had to serve another nation of people, right? Right, go ahead. In hunger uh -huh. and in thirst go ahead. and in nakedness uh -huh. and in want of all things. So, God says, remember, he's speaking to Israel, his chosen people. He said, you're going to have to serve your enemies for, for food, for water, for clothes, right? Right. And anything that you want. Now, listen, listen good to the next part. Let me get this one. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke yeah, of that. iron upon thy neck. Oh, read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. One more time. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Uh -huh. Until he hath destroyed thee. What happened to Freddie? Who, who had yokes of iron on their neck? You know who did it. No, I get said out. who had it on their neck. The devil. You heard me, Freddie? Who was the people that physically had the yokes of iron on their neck? Our people, right? Yeah. Right. But read that again. This is what God say out the Bible. Slow down. And he shall put a yoke of iron uh -huh. upon thy neck. Right. So God said these people will put yokes of iron on the Israelites' neck. But so-called blacks had yokes of iron on their neck, right? Right, so right. God said that was going to happen to his people Israel, then who are, what is our real race? Bring it out. The devil himself has to If God no said that right. happened to Israel, right? Follow me? If God said that happened to Israel, and that only happened to blacks, Hispanics, and natives, then what is our real race according to the God? Bring it out. Bring it out. If that happened to Israel. I'm giving you the answer. I'm saying the answer. Why? If that happened to Israel, right, and it happened to blacks, we're not blacks, so who are we? We're brown. I think you think it too hard. You think it too hard. Yeah. We are the Israelites according yeah. to the Bible. No, that's right. right. Right? That's who we are. All right? You got that? You understand? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth